Laws.com. How to file for food stamps assistance in Missouri. Step 1. Determine eligibility. The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, which is better known as SNAP, is Missouri's food stamp program. This program provides assistance to low-income people who cannot afford a healthy diet. You may be eligible to procure supplemental nutrition assistance if you work for low wages, are unemployed, or work part-time, receive public assistance payments or welfare, are elderly or disabled, or are living on a small income. Missouri's Food Assistance Program program is run through the state's local social services offices. The following rules apply with regards to food stamp eligibility. The amount of supplemental nutrition assistance you can procure is based on the United States Department of Agriculture's Thrifty Food Plan, which is an estimate of how much it costs to buy food for your household. To be eligible for Missouri food stamps, you must be a U.S. citizen or qualified non-citizen. You must be able to provide a verified social security number. You must be an able body between the ages of 16 and 59 and you must be registered for work. For a complete list of deductions and income requirements, please visit the following site. Step 2. Follow the rules. According to the state's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, a household is deemed a group of people who live together and buy food and prepare meals. If your household passes the state's eligibility tests, the amount of assistance you will receive will depend on the number of people in your home and the level of income left after certain deductions or expenses are subtracted. For more information on eligibility or how to specifically apply to procure assistance, please contact your local Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Office or contact 1-800-442-6003. Step 3. Applying for Assistance In the state of Missouri, there is no need to file an application to procure food stamps. All you need to do is call or visit your local office for family independence and complete an interactive or face-to-face -face interview. Step 4. The Interview during the interview, the information you provide the interviewer is entered into a program. When the interview is finished, you will be asked to sign the application form printed from the office. If your interview is conducted via the phone, the completed form will be mailed to you for your signature. To watch more videos, please make sure to visit laws.com.